Brock Purdy, I think, is a good quarterback. I think the Niners can win a Super Bowl with Brock Purdy. Obviously, they're in the Super Bowl. And that we, doesn't... bro, that was our exact take. And we said, we, the people, we, that's a hundred comments on that video. And like 75% of them are people saying we're hating for saying that the Niners can win the Super Bowl with Brock Purdy. But because we're saying he's not a top five quarterback in the NFL right now, we don't know ball. It should not be a controversial take to say that Brock Purdy is a good quarterback and not an elite quarterback. Like I said, he's he, I really feel like he is the most polarizing quarterback to talk about now at this point because okay. his numbers, because of his, his, the numbers that he put up, which are fantastic, he's put up great numbers. He has a phenomenal supporting cast around him. Um, he's executes this system very well. Like, it, all of that is great. I think he's a very good quarterback. I think he has some things that he does at an elite level. I think he has some of the best anticipation that we see in the National Football League. Part of that also comes because he's playing in the Shanahan system. Like, all of these things can be true at the same time while he's also just not an elite quarterback. You can't, everybody can't be elite, bro. There's got to be a cutoff. And you're not – like, there's not an argument outside of, like you said – wins then for him to be in that consideration over five six seven guys minimally it's so it's a stupid combo it really is it's just do you win do you lose that's how good you are yeah and it honestly i feel like it sucks because like i feel like that's overshadowing the fact that bro, this dude is in his second year as the last pick in the draft and is like playing very well it was we played very well last season in the regular season and the postseason, played very well this season, in the regular season, and has had some clutch moments in this playoffs. And they are in the Super Bowl with him in his second year as the last pick in the NFL draft. That's an insane story. I feel like it's getting overshadowed by the fact that because he's done this, now we have to crown him as an elite quarterback. And if we're not rushing to do that, you're hating. Like and it's it's like yeah, I, in fact, it's like, bro, we can't even enjoy this nice story because you guys automatically. And the thing is, the problem, the reason why people get mad because guys critique him is because that's what you do to elite quarterbacks. You critique elite quarterbacks. So it's like you can't say Brock Purdy is a top five quarterback, top three quarterback. But when he plays mediocre, like try to give him a pass, like, oh, he's the last pick of the draft. Like he had a game winning drive. That's fast. That's not what we do with Josh Allen Mahomes. If No. We hold him right. to a standard of like, oh, not everything's not going well. If you're a top five quarterback, carry us. Like, have moments where you dudes was having back. conversation. Sorry to cut you off. Dudes was having conversations this year if Josh Allen could w ever ever win a Super Bowl because of how he was turning the ball over. Right. It's just, bro. It's, you can't have it both ways, bro. You can't say he's an elite. Uh, he's a top five quarterback, but give him a pass for everything because he's the last pick of the draft and blah blah blah. Right. blah. No, let's hold him to that elite quarterback standard. P. Dudes was saying, yo, bro, is Mahomes figured out because they weren't this high-flying 30 points a game offense? Right. Like, come on, you get you're holding him to do two different standards, but saying that he's on the level of these guys. No, he's not. Yes. Bro. No, he's not. Right. And, and that's so and the crazy thing is, that's okay. okay that's the craziest bro. part. That's fine. He doesn't need to be. He, like I said, he can win the Super Bowl with the way he is now. And no one even says the biggest argument. Because if I was a pretty like defender, my only argument would be. He's the second year. He could get better. He's going to get better. Like, I genuinely, that's that's what irks me so much about it is, like, I do actually think he is a solid quarterback, bro. He's going to be with the 49ers for a long time, and I think he's probably going to net out having a good NFL career. I don't know what his ceiling is going to be. I don't even think we should be having. That's a wild conversation to even be having. That's engagement farming. Like, why are we <laughs> Why are we even okay. talking about if Purdy's going to make the Hall of Fame? What, is, what are we doing? <laughs> but I just do think he's a, a good quarterback. He's a solid quarterback. He's. I don't know that he'll ever reach. I would – if I had to bet one way or the other, I do not think he'll ever reach elite quarterback status. And that's okay. There's a lot of quarterbacks in the league who don't reach, let's reach elite quarterback status why it's elite it's a small tier Kirk Cousins has been very good for a long time I don't think anybody's ever said Kirk Cousins is an elite quarterback Dak Prescott has had multiple good seasons if you took away the Cowboys hate bias like he's never been in the elite tier but you, you I don't feel like you can argue that he's not a good quarterback yeah. like 
you can knock him for playoff balls or whatever, but it's like you can do that for a lot of people. So it's okay to be a just a franchise quarterback, a good quarterback. Those guys make a lot of money, and they have chances to win the Super Bowl every single year. Especially with that type of roster. Right. This is an 11-on-11 11 11 sport. You cannot just give the win to one position. Crazy. Q, uh, wins are not a QB stat, man. That's, just, no. that's my biggest thing. The wins are not a QB stat. There's context. No, there's a lot, a lot of context. Mm-hmm.